want fresh ideas. And we also want these older stories to move forward, not back. We're gonna go on a big rant here. This is a rant episode, by the way. Hello and welcome to another episode of Frightfully Forgotten's Dead Wrong. But before we get started, what are we drinking? Today we're drinking High C Ecto Cooler IPA. <laughs> nice. Today we're gonna bring to you an episode more on our thoughts of what Alien Romulus should have been and what we really wanted it to be instead of the kind of crap that we ended up getting. We're also gonna maybe touch on a little bit of what we think Hollywood movies are right now. <laughs> and the state of affairs. This jumps off the review we did last year on Exorcist Believer. Yeah. Which is kind of almost the same thing as far as what we're going to be getting at as to what we think about these new movies. Stop the production of the sequels! It's a death of horror and the board of millions of people, don't you understand? We spent good money to go see Exorcist Believer, knowing we wouldn't like it. Yep. After watching the trailers, we knew exactly what the movie was going to be. We mentioned in that review, said we didn't even need to see the movie to fucking review it. We didn't even see Alien Romulus. Watched the trailer and thought, eh, that's going to be uh, just a lot of action and a lot of body gore. Yeah. And probably very little plot and a lot of callbacks to... The previous fucking previous movies. movies. And that's exactly what it was. <laughs> yeah. We don't even need to fucking see the thing to complain about it. No. So no. we're going to see if we can review a movie without even seeing the fucker. <laughs> First of all, let's touch on what we wanted to see from it. I, judging from the, the rumors and what all the trailers were showing, I thought that it was going to be a, a better bridge between the two movies, right? Between Alien and Aliens. And I thought they were going to explain where that queen came from in the second movie and kind of have a, a better lead up to that, right? But even then, it's like, we don't need a bridge movie. You don't fucking, no. just like, a lot of people like Rogue One. It was a decent movie. You didn't need Rogue One. You knew what fucking happened. You didn't need the bridge movie between no. the, the two movies that already exist. Like, let's just continue the fucking story. Either continue from the original Alien series after. Yeah. Or let Ridley Scott finish his fucking movies that he started with Prometheus and Covenant. It's either shit or get off the pod. Yeah, it's like, so <laughs> they don't let Ridley Scott make the movie he wanted to make. Yeah. Or, well, Covenant mm -hmm. just turned into an Aliens movie without him getting his shit in. Yeah. And then they wouldn't let him make the third one. And then what do they do instead? Oh, Greatest Hits. Yep. Let's just do a fucking Greatest Hits movie with the new Ripley and throw in all the fucking classic lines. Get away from her, you bitch! And also this kind of garbage, too, with the deep fakes. That needs to stop. It needs to stop. It all really kind of started with this Rogue One shit, right? With Peter Cushing. Again, this is like, this is Rogue One for the Alien franchise. Yeah, and it's like, I, okay, so I'm not a huge Star Wars guy, and so I, I've never seen Rogue One, but I have seen the Peter Cushing parts. And they're not that good. Like, you know what, to be honest, I kind of think it's a little tacky. It's a little tacky, and... Well, number one, for Rogue One, when they first did it, like, the first scene, I'm like, okay, that was kind of cool. Yeah. But then there was more scenes and more with him. It's like, no, no, now now you're, now it's too much. Yeah, now you're milking it. Now you're milking it. And the more you show the deep fake or the CGI version, the less believable it is, because the more you get to, like, uh, that, Yeah, then it doesn't... That's not fucking real, Then you know? it looks all choppy and, like, yeah. you can tell it's all fake and shit. Mostly deceased actors that are doing this with. With Ian Holm? It's like... I know they probably get consent from the family to do it, but they're dead. Their acting career is over. They did their job. They have their works already in the can on screen. It's kind of tainting them a little bit, especially yeah. if it's a bad job, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's not really Ian Holm up on screen, but it, it's his fucking likeness. Mm -hmm. It's him. Mm -hmm. 
Like, it's, I think it's kind of tacky. I think it's kind of bad taste. Yeah, and it also kind of taints, I think it sort of taints the younger generation to those older actors too, right? Because then that's all they remember these actors for, is these shitty deep fakes. Yeah. Like, Ian Holm has an enormous filmography backlog yeah. in some of the greatest movies ever made, and people are only going to remember this of him. Yeah. That's a shame. That's a fucking shame. And, and... This deep fake of him apparently was horrible. Yeah, like, I it saw looked it. horrible. It doesn't look good. It's pretty bad. <laughs> and given the context, again, there is no reason why you need his likeness yeah. in this movie. Yeah. It doesn't add anything. And it's like, he's all torn up again. Yeah, full like... Of all the, <laughs> the white milk blood again. And... <laughs> it's like... So every android that's ever made to be on a ship always gets destroyed full of the milk but it's yeah. like the same shit over and over again it's just recycling fucking shit that we've seen so many times it's like just watch the old movies exactly. why watch a watered down soulless fucking greatest hits oh that halloween kills with loomis is probably the one of the worst did he kill again yeah like <laughs> Like, again, like, <laughs> why is that scene... And the, the funny thing is that scene is probably the best scene in that movie. Yeah, but as, it makes as far sense. as... Well, not that scene with Loomis, but everything that leads up to it. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. But, again, totally useless. Totally useless! Mm -hmm. Totally useless. Totally, it doesn't move the plot besides that one character who didn't shoot. Yeah, but um, even then I noticed... When, with Michael coming out of, like, the closet or whatever, it's the same way that he attacks Paul in the kitchen with the knife. Yeah. The exact same it's, it's way. It's all the same. Yep. It's, it's all just, Again, it's just recycled shit. Like. Yeah. And then the fact, too, it's like, I gotta keep going on this a little bit, but at that point in the movie, Loomis doesn't really know that Michael's been killing. Like, yeah. in the first, so when you, in the first movie, he doesn't see any dead bodies from what Michael... He doesn't see what Michael's done. No, actually, you're right. He, yeah. And then so and so in that movie, number two hasn't taken place yet. So they Loomis, haven't seen, they haven't seen the bodies being taken out of the houses yet. So then Loomis storming into the house. Did he kill again? You don't know he's been killing. Yeah, yeah. You haven't seen any bodies. Yeah. This is before the scene. One of them's had it. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, did if these assholes would have did their research? Yeah. They would have noticed that, or they would have realized that the scene is totally useless. Yeah, totally useless. We're gonna go on a big rant here. This is a rant episode, by the way. If you haven't noticed, in this alien Romulus case, it's just trying to make money. <laughs> that, that's yeah. oh, that's all it's doing. It's not trying to move things forward, you know, with the story and the characters. Yeah. It's just about making fucking money. But they kind of shot themselves in the foot too, on placing the movie where they did right yeah, in well, between you, alien and alien you're it's stuck like, yeah what are you gonna do you're, huh? you're literally stuck between two movies yeah and so there's only so much yeah you can you just pigeonhole yourself the actors in this movie too just judging by the trailer they didn't do it for me i didn't i didn't get a realistic sense i'm not saying that that you know throughout the whole movie that the actors weren't good or anything but there's a lot of use of young people in a lot of these movies where they don't fit you yeah know? i know what you and mean they're like, casting the young good looking people yeah as and, opposed to people that maybe just suit the role yeah you know yeah um i'd like to see some older people in, in some again. of these fucking <laughs> yeah. movies like you look at you know harry dean stanton in the original alien yeah yeah. Like, he was already, what, 50 there? Yeah. 60? You know, he's pretty old. Yeah. And it's like, I want to see old guys again. <laughs> yeah, o old people don't exist in the future, you know? <laughs> yeah, it has to be, like, 16-year-old girls. Like, aren't those like, the people that, are, that should be doing these jobs? The people that are hi highly trained, that's been doing it for years, that are dependable? Mm -hmm. To make sure shit doesn't blow up and, they, you know? Yeah. But no, it's just all young fucking whippersnappers that are good looking and smooth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I like a old grizzled, <laughs> yeah. weathered face. Yeah. That's what I want. I think the studio has so much clout nowadays, they force, yeah. like obviously with Romulus and Covenant. Covenant. Yeah. They super forced his hand in a certain direction and, and erect the movie. Exactly, yeah. And just let 
the the director and the writer do what they're supposed to do. Let artists be artists. Yeah, you and know? you know, maybe you'll get... And the thing is, is that I think studios nowadays, they just want that big flash, that big bang yeah. uh, box office hit, and then it doesn't matter if the movie has longevity. It's yeah. just whatever, on to the next one. It's like, okay, if you let the creators do what they're supposed to do, maybe you'll have a sleeper hit on your hands that'll continue paying yeah. 30 years down the line. Continue making money. Yeah. See, the thing is, I don't know if movie producers, executives believe in a movie making money after its original release anymore because no one buys physical media anymore. You can't rely on you know, the sales of the movie after it's left the theaters. Yeah. It has to have its big fucking boom in the box office. Yeah. And after that, well... Nobody I, gives a I shit. I don't know if there are sleepers anymore, because where do people find these sleeping movies yeah. now? Yeah, yeah. Before, it was you'd rent it at the video store, and suddenly a movie like Big Trouble in Little China, which was a bomb, becomes a huge cult classic that everyone loves and probably made a lot of money after it was already a box office failure and kind of made but but where do people find sleepers these yeah, days yeah i don't know, you know? That, like it's a good question but there's still the the opportunity is not allowed to get to that point yeah. even though nowadays yeah. Yeah. right and that's the shame of it no dough no show like there's so many of these movies so many of these greatest hit style movies like fucking axel f was oh. just released on Netflix. You know what it's gonna be? It's just gonna be the best parts from Beverly Hills Cop 1 and 2. Yeah. Because those were the successful ones. As much as I liked Ghostbusters, uh, Frozen Empire, and Afterlife, I just rewatched Frozen Empire for the second time last week, and I still liked it, but again, all that throwback shit, all the greatest hit stuff, I can fucking do without, even as a huge fan, it's like, I don't need to fucking see the library ghost again. Yeah. I don't need to see Slimer again. I don't need to see Mini Stay Puffs again. Yeah, nobody, the thing is, is that I don't know who the hell asked for any of that yeah. shit either. I don't think anybody did. Yeah. It's just that it's the studio execs that go, well, this is how we create word of mouth nowadays is by putting all this fucking recycled shit in these movies and it'll speak to the older generation and that'll move the move the sales yeah but nobody asked for it nobody wants it yeah we want fresh ideas and we also want these older stories to move forward not back not backwards there's so Fuck. many there's so many backward storytelling these days yeah not just in movies and fucking tv but besides Ugh. picard between fucking star trek voyager like nothing has happened star no. trek voyager ended in the fucking 90s it's not the story or, is not or early 2000s and they yeah. making they've made so many star trek tv shows since then nothing has continued the story yeah yeah. Besides Picard, just a little bit. That season yeah. three, and even that, all that was was a fucking hark back to next gen yeah, and was, all the previous movies and all, shit. It was just greatest hits yep. from next gen. They yeah. go and they they crammed it so hard. I was getting sick of it. It's like, oh, they got to go to that ship museum. And then yeah. they got to get the fucking. They got to go through that. That museum thing where you see Genesis in the yeah. corner. Yeah. It's like, oh, like way to just fucking keep fe spoon feeding you garbage. I don't know who they're marketing these movies and TV series to. Like, is it us? Is it our generation who grew up with these things? Because if it is, at least for me, it's not working because I've seen it before. Yeah. I don't need to see... A, a, a sequel or a prequel that's more of a remake than a prequel or you know it's yeah. it, they're, they're all requels and shit like and apparently Romulus did very well at the box yeah. office yeah which is kind of sad yeah <laughs> when you think yeah. about it yeah. because it's like it kind of shouldn't have for what it is just another fucking recycled movie and it's yeah. like with nothing that really moves the Alien franchise forward per se a bunch of ragtag people running a spaceship or a space station or an alien attack it's, it's all the same fucking shit yeah it goes hand in hand with the creativity there's yeah. not much creativity 
to uh, to start things off. So shit goes in, shit comes yeah. out. Even the poster for Romulus, just the face hugger. Yeah, it's on, like on the per. It's like that's the best you got. That's original. <laughs> yeah. Never seen that before. This is coming from people who like cookie cutter slasher movies to a degree, but at least they know they're being cookie cutter, and yeah. there's some charm there. This there's no charm in these types of movies. I find like it's it just blah. Yeah, it's just it's just I look at it and I just see people wanting to make money and it is no art there's no artistry to it it's yeah. just not like look what i made i made a good film it's no it's i made money by copying other yeah. films yeah. basically um you know there are people out there making movies that are good films and are probably proud of their good films sadly those don't seem to even have a big theatrical release you yeah. know it's so people don't know about them. Those are the kind of the sleepers. They hit streaming. Maybe that's the new sleeper, right? Yep. You know, yep. have a small theatrical release, hit streaming, and then word of mouth from there, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I guess that's the new sleeper. Yeah. And that's what we have to start looking for as film fans and fuck the big Hollywood <laughs> movies, man. <laughs> So that ends our rant, Romulus, what we had hoped it would have been and what we most likely didn't get. <laughs> and we, we haven't even seen the goddamn movie. But that's also our take on the legacy of these newer horror movies too and what they kind of leave behind, which is really nothing, nothing. except yeah. recycled old hits. These newer movies don't leave any real legacy for themselves besides just being a bunch of copycat wannabes. Yeah. And that's it. You kind of nailed it there. Like, if you make your own movie, don't you want to say, this is mine? Yeah. And not just... Somebody else's. Somebody else's <laughs> ideas we're reusing because we knew they worked, you know? It's one thing to be inspired by. Yeah. It's another thing to just be like, let's just reuse the best things and not even try to hide it. <laughs> yeah, that too. Yeah, they don't even fucking try. And that's just kind of how a lot of these movies are nowadays. There's a lot, it's a lot of flash and then yeah. fuck, you get to the movie, you start watching it, it's like, man, this is just garbage is what I figured it was going to be. It's a total letdown. Yeah. We were let down and we didn't even fucking see it. <laughs> yeah. Can we review a movie we've never seen? I think we can. Bet your ass. <laughs> and until next time, keep drinking hard. Mm.